Alrighty guys, before we start off this video on the Mustang mach -E, I want to go give a quick shout out to Jermaine Ford of Beaver Creek. Um, they're the ones that lend me this vehicle, so if you're in need for a new Mustang mach -E or a new Ford, uh, check out Jermaine Ford of Beaver Creek or just check out Jermaine Cars. They've got all sorts of stuff. Let's get this video going. What's going on guys? My name is Voss and today we are in the brand new Mustang Mach-E. So for those of you that don't know, yes, Mach-E, electric. This is an electric Mustang. So this is a Mustang, this is a crossover, and this is electric. Obviously this is very different from your previous Mustangs. You know, you had the uh, 5.0, you had the Shelby, Shelby GT350, the GT500, and this is just a completely different step in um, pretty much how Ford is taking up their lineup. And I think as time progresses, electric is becoming more you know it, it's it's becoming more and more popular and more automakers are realizing just how much more the cars can do if they're electric and so with this this is pretty much the new mustang and it is not like any other mustang before so going into that this is still a very incredible car and i'm going to show you through some of the features today and then we're going to go for a drive and i'll tell you how it is so like i said mustang maki this is all-wheel drive premium edition um you have other ones you can get the uh, select model you can get the uh, california model the um uh first edition as well as the gt the ranges start from somewhere around forty-three thousand all the way to like it was like about 60 to sixty-two thousand dollars. and in that you get um a range if you get the uh regular rear wheel drive version you can get ranges up to 305 miles the one configured today has a range of 270 miles um, and then for in addition to that you have all of your creature comforts you have bane aloofs and audio heated steering wheel heated seats a giant infotainment system a digital dash um, bird's eye view backup camera front cameras it can drive itself and there are so many features in this car i just can't wait to show it to you so let's talk about the battery the standard range has right around a 75-ish kilowatt hour battery with 68 of that being usable. And then the extended range um, has right around about 100 kilowatt hour battery with um, 88 of those kilowatt hours being usable. And then for um, power and torque numbers, if you got the GT, you were looking at somewhere between 430 horsepower and about 634 excuse me, 480 horsepower and 634 foot-pounds of torque. But if you got the um, some of the other models in between, the Select, the Premium, the First Edition, those power numbers can range between 266 horsepower and 366 horsepower all the way to 317 to 430 foot-pounds of torque. Now, for charging, if you charge this at home, regular 110, you're looking at right around about 30 miles a night. If you plug it into a 240, Ford claims you can charge 80% of this vehicle uh, in like a six to eight hour night. So that's pretty impressive as it is. It's about on par with you know the Tesla Model 3 and some of the other uh, EVs that are currently on the market. Now that we've gotten kind of some of the uh, numbers out of the way, let's talk about how the inside of this car feels. It feels very premium. You have this nice stitched console, stitched seats. They're 
a nice feel. There's a lot of support in them. They don't feel like you're gonna sink. There's a lot of side bolstering. It feels like you're gonna take corners or turns. And the end of the day, this is a Mustang. It is designed for pleasure. You, you know, you can't have a lot of fun with it. There just feels like there's a lot of support for that. But in addition, now you have these really nice back seats, which if you think of Mustang, you don't think of back seats, but you know, you have a rear hatch right around 20, um, like about 29 cubic feet of space. The rear seats do fold down and you can get about 60 cubic feet of space. And for comfort wise, for reference, I'm not that tall, about 5'7", um, but I had my buddy Alex, who's 6'4", also adjust the passenger seat to his preference and then sit in the back, and he felt there was plenty of leg room and head room with the uh, glass panoramic sunroof. He didn't feel as if he was feeling congested, so there is a lot of space in here. One of the biggest differences I'm noticing right off the bat compared to a Tesla Model 3, because that's what I'm more used to, start-stop button. That's not common in the Tesla you get in, you put the stock down and drive and then you go and you get out. Car feels like it's always on in here. You can literally turn the car on and off. For someone coming from a gas vehicle, that might be a good transition for them to not feel like they're completely giving up some of those features. You have the forward gear lever in the middle, so you can do park, reverse, neutral drive. And with the different features like in reverse, really nice bird's eye view camera, um, in neutral, nothing, and then in drive, uh, it is, when you get into a parking space, I'll show you in a second, as you pull up close to it, the front view camera pops on and you can see how close you're getting in. There's proximity sensors to warn you. Um, but other than that, you know, it's pretty standard in here. Your, uh, uh, excuse me, your self-driving can be done on the left-hand side here. You can adjust it, turn on the uh, option, put the lane assist on, and then once the blue bubble appears, it'll kind of start taking over. Um, I'll try to demonstrate that if I can find a good turn for you guys. But other than that, it's pretty simple in here. You have a wireless charging, a uh, uh, wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It, I just, I'm really liking, there isn't a whole lot of stuff in here and it feels like there's more, it's just more geared towards the user and the enjoyment. Like nothing feels clustered, over over the top it just feels it just feels right so you know let's jump into our drive so let's go to reverse another thing i wanted to quickly discuss glanced over it in the video was the warranty and the credit on this car still issuing a 7500 hundred dollar tax credit on this vehicle you can no longer get that on tesla limited warranty for uh three years thirty six thousand miles a um powertrain warranty five years sixty thousand miles and then an electric components warranty for eight years a hundred thousand miles with this being a new vehicle with this being a lot there's a lot of electrical components a lot of technology in this car that does help give you kind of a peace of mind um trying to get something that is kind of, is the first of a new generation of vehicles so i thought that was very cool um and all right I also have the one uh, pedal driving mode activated, which is like the equivalent of Tesla regen braking. Um, personally, I prefer that style. It's up to you on how you like to drive. I just don't like to hit my brakes all the time, so this is a, a good alternative. Here's first, uh, first little punch. Like, it's still pretty fast. I think the zero to 60 is right around 5.1 seconds. There is a lot of speed here, and Something that is very different to me compared to, you know, other, like a Tesla or something like that, is when you floor it in a Tesla, you really don't hear any sort of sound hold up. There's a bird, I see what it's trying to do. I'm not gonna let it do it. I'm not gonna let it do it. This bird's trying to take a dump right over this brand new car. It's not happening. All right, we're good. Um, but no, you know, one thing I'm noticing in here is when you floor it, once you get about 40 miles an hour, it starts to kind of sound like there's an engine there. It's kind of nice. It, it's obviously it's not real engine noise because this is electric, but it just it it makes you feel it makes you feel more engaged if that's a good a good way to explain it. But the regen braking is awesome. It handles so far pretty well. The steering is nice and tight. Um, there's different drive modes. I'm in the most aggressive mode. I can show you an overlay of what those modes are. Um, but it, it feels good. It obviously it's big. It's not, it doesn't feel like if you're used to the Mustangs cause they're sports cars, like little sports cars, this is not bad, but this is still pretty sporty. And you know, we got 19 inch, uh, wheels in here, 
it has pretty massive tires. I, I think they were like 255 or 275, 55 sidewall R19s. So there's they're pretty thick. I and mean, overall, this is it's just it's fun. Let me try to see if I can turn on the. Okay. So now the autopilot's on and you can tell like the bubble's activated um, and it'll just tell you every now and then to place your hands on the wheel but other than that it's pretty pretty uh, nice okay we got a squirrel all right yeah there's a stop sign up here not sure it's gonna stop nope so we're gonna want to break out of that but uh now it it does a really good job it really does um it's it is i'll have to try it on you know more of a curved road but you know and then i got to spend the night with it and some of the things i was noticing that i want to report back on that i thought were really nice is at nighttime there were different modes in the car for like ambient lighting you could turn on and off when you had the key in your pocket and you left and you walked away it would lock when you got closer it would unlock and a little mustang emblem would show up um, on the driver's side door. I thought that was really cool. Um, and other than that, you know, it's, another thing I can say is it's it's definitely a head turner. Not a lot of people have seen this yet in person. So when you're driving around and they see the Mustang emblem, they're kind of surprised because they'll see it and it's, you know, it's a Mustang, but it's in this uh, bigger hatchback style vehicle and they're just thrown off guard and there's not really a grill and there's no exhaust and it's just, but then you can do this and it's still plenty fun. There is plenty of fun to go around in this car. I think it's really geared towards, you know, as cars are progressing, they're trending towards most families want a one car that can do it all. And this is this can be fun, this can be practical, um, and there are tons of other benefits that come with it. And with, you know, some of the things with the navigation, Alex and I got to kind of play around with the infotainment and I'll put some clips of that here. But um, there are ways where you can map out your charging and stuff. It's still a work in progress. There's still uh, stuff that's being updated, but it's all there and it exists. And it's, I'm sure as uh, Ford has more of these unveiling and more updates coming out, there will be more modifications and it'll be more easier and accessible. Um, but all that stuff does exist. The wireless Android Auto is really nice. I got to briefly play around with that with on my phone. But other than that, I mean, it's really it's a really fun car. I, I don't have a whole lot of negatives. I really like how it looks. I like the interior design language, the grays, the black, the neutral tone. This white looks really nice as well. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much gonna wrap up this review, guys. If you enjoyed this, smash that thumbs up button. And now that we're towards the end of the review, I'll have to say, we tried filming this yesterday. We got into a little bit. Um, then I got my drone stuck in a tree. I'll overlay some footage. That was quite a day, and I had to get some people out to come get it down. and. It was a, uh, it was it was quite the uh, quite the situation. But you know we're done with that. I have to give this car back in a little bit, and I'm I'm kind of sad. I really enjoy this. Another thing to mention, it's so easy to learn. I got in here and within 15 minutes I knew 80% of the controls, the self driving, everything. It wasn't even hard to pick up. So if for somebody who's worried about the learning curve, it's really easy to get up and get going. Um, overall, I'm very impressed. I think this is definitely a step in the right direction for e for electric vehicles. And then. You know, I'm curious to see if I can get my hands on the Mustang GT, the Mach-E GT, to see how much quicker it is. But this feels plenty fun, plenty fast. So if you enjoy this review, smash that thumbs up button, you know, like this, share this, do what you need to. We're gonna try to keep making content. I take a little break for, uh, for a bit, just from how everything's been going. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.